origin story this week, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot to get dressed. I'm sorry, ladies. I need oh. to get dressed. Whoa. Whoa. Close your eyes. All right. If we can put up the black screen for a minute. Okay. I'll help you. Okay. There. Here we go. All right. Where are you? All right. Sorry, ladies. I should have done this this morning. Holy cow, it's warm up here. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Okay. That's a cute oh. It is cute. Oh. Woo. Oh, Boy, hey, I'm was, dressed. I got my shoes dressed. up. Wait, I forgot one more thing. Okay. This is the only way I can stay on three at three. <laughs> no, because then um, I hear I hear she says mm. things that she's not supposed to. And that's why we're taping her face. So mm -hmm. she has to sign. Mm. I'm not talking the whole time. So no, no, mm. I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome it, to three and three. It would not stay on very much, would it? No, it okay. wouldn't. So, so we have to see who's here with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, paper tape. <laughs> paper tape? Yeah, we need to see who's tape. with us today. All right, let's see who's with us today. Oh, hi, Janice. Hi, Lori from Wiley, Texas. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello, Jan. Got all these fun. Tape face. Fun. Yes, Jan Wood. It's the only way I can stay on three and three. <laughs> I'm watching my mouth, and it's going to be a very serious three at three. Oh, well, then I'm not. I'm not here. If it is. <laughs> I'm out of here. Kathy's like, we love you. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you never know what you're going to get with. You recognize we're on the floor, so that I can watch my behavior, and the boss is can watch just... me. Yes, she's right over there. So. Yep. And then if oh, we have oh Betty Joe Davis, thank you. That was so reassuring. Kyle's still with us, so I'm good. Oh, I've got lots of chance. <laughs> there it's, you go. She's not even up here. She's I know. downstairs she today. Is. Yeah. She is downstairs. Hi, ladies. So about anything fun. new for you this week? Um, no. Okay, well. I had to think about that one. Anything new out there for you guys? New for us? Let's see. Um... Allison gets herself in trouble with her mouth, it sounds like. Right. I yes, I do get it myself mouth. in trouble with my mouth, and then I'm the butt of all jokes, apparently. Hi, Laura. Just don't talk about toilet paper. Yes, we won't. Okay. All right. Um, any good news at home? We, well, we had our grandson over for a sleepover last night. Oh, that is so. exhausting. Yes. I came to work with bags under my eyes, but he actually <laughs> slept all night. So we're good. Yep. I started my Christmas shopping. Really? Yes. I started my Christmas shopping. So one year I broke my foot and I had to have surgery and I had to have all my Christmas shopping done before the 11th of mm. November because I had to have surgery and it was the best, the best, the best. Um, so I started my Christmas shopping. I want to get it done. Yeah. Well, I haven't even, usually I'm pretty good and know what I'm going to do for, but this year, no idea. I have huh? no ideas. So I need lots of ideas. Yeah. What I can get my, my adult children. Oh, so Sem anybody have ideas? Semi-adult children. Yes. Yeah. So. Time is flying, Laura. Um, Shannon, I haven't unboxed my new machine. It's sitting in the <gasps> living room. I'm scared of it. Oh. I'm so scared of it. Nah, don't be oh. scared. This is great. Okay, yeah. Tana. So it's so exciting. I, I so. know you guys are all excited, but it just sits there in the box. I did order a new sewing table to go in my craft room for it. Ah. So I'm kind of using that as an excuse not to get it out. But don't worry. <gasps> Nola, she says she's done. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love you, Nola. See, isn't it the best? And you can just yes. you can. Don't worry that it's um sitting in the middle of the living room because I bought candy corn, candy cane, pumpkin spice, jingle all the way. Whisk you. We whisk you. I just bought. So don't yeah. worry. I'm just stacking them up. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Oh, Christy t finished a quilt top this a.m. Oh, good job. Oh, yeah. She yeah. had to force herself to finish it. I, I decided, bet it's beautiful. Yeah, I decided I'm not doing quilts. Yeah. So if anybody would like to give private lessons, because I asked Barb to teach me, and she goes, I don't know how to teach you. We're all in a world of hurt if Barb doesn't know. I can teach you. Thank you, Jackie. I would be happy to. I need, I need private lessons. Yeah. 
Oh. I can't imagine oh, look. new kitchen knives, wool dryer balls, wallets with cash in them. Oh, oh man, that's cute. That's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Yep. Love the fun run challenge. So that yeah. was fun. We did love that. Good. Yes. Well, I was thinking of getting um, all my kids a small generator. Do you think that would be a stupid gift? No, I think that's a fantastic I gift. Don't know. It's one of those things you don't buy for yourself. I right. would love it. Right. Just I mean, something you know. small. But yes. No, I think so. You oh, just... that's funny. I tell my adult children to buy what they want with what they would have spent on me. I do the same. Then we post pictures of what we got for Christmas oh. for each other. Marianne, Man, that's, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. That is great. I love it. Unfortunately, and it's maybe the sign of the times or how we raised our children. They wouldn't have much. Yeah. They expect a lot. They don't give too much. Oh, I hope yeah. you're not watching because they do give great gifts. They, I mean, I take it all back. Yeah. Well, there we go. We'll see. Yeah, see, Betty Jo would love a generator. Okay. I would. I. Yeah. I'm trying to think outside the box, and so. Have you used dryer balls? They're talking dryer balls. Dryer balls. I did. Wool dryer yes. balls. Yes, I have used them, and they actually work really well. I actually put some essential oils on mine oh just to smell and and then put it in the dryer oh i don't just do too much oh yum. yeah and it actually makes your your laundry smell really good yes my husband's so allergic to scents that we have a hard time with that yeah so you probably wouldn't like that too well yep i don't like the smell of wet wool though no oh that's disgusting yep look everybody's loving that generator i guess oh. i think you are well hey i'm glad because i was wondering i was like okay maybe that would be a silly idea uh, look but, how cute judy just fills a laundry basket everybody needs a new laundry basket mm -hmm. every year yep good idea great ideas oh Thank my you gosh so much. i just love this betty joe gives now, experiences <clears throat> so instead of toys they get like years of mission to thanksgiving point I oh, know that. I mean, idea. we have a we have a ski resort up here. I thought that, but maybe we just buy them. That would be fun. Yep. Yeah. So I, my other idea was Utah Jazz game um, tickets. Oh, see, that would be fun too. But yeah, I asked my kids, so I sent it out, and I said, <laughs> "Do your kids want anything specific for Christmas? Because I always like to give them what they mm -hmm. want." And um, my one daughter comes back and she goes, "A trip to Hawaii would be fine." And I said, oh, that would be great to take all of the grandkids to Hawaii, but I'm sure they'll miss you. Because I didn't say, do you want anything? And then she nixed that idea. Oh. If she doesn't get to go, she doesn't want me taking her kids. So, Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fun, fun. Yes. Really great okay, ideas, Well, that ladies. was a great opening. We okay. Well, in awesome. case you didn't know already. Do we have to do a little thing? Do yes. we have to do one? Okay. We have to keep us on track here. Yes. We do have to do a little thing. So. I might We're gonna think, do if I a little think thing. Fall on the floor. Don't be surprised. Okay. Why? Because it's so hot in here. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's not hot. I'm, I'm really hot. It's not hot. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I start if she... getting really red, and I start doing this, make sure you. Yeah. I'll I'll prop okay. you up, Bernie. Thanks. Thanks. You know, weekend at Bernie's. <laughs>
Yeah. I had toast last night, actually. Oh, I like toast, too. Yeah. That seems to be my husband's midnight snack. Yeah, toast and, yes. and chocolate almond milk. Yes. So. Um, I, I'm a good cook, and you're a good cook. So I like a good apron, but I do know some people, some of my kids, who think that cereal is the staple. Yeah. Yep. So next, I don't always wash my apron, but when I do, it takes me 20 minutes to untangle it. Anybody so, else feeling the pain? That is so true. That is so true. I know. Every time you wash it, I don't know why the those strings, things, yeah. the strings get wrapped around. I don't know. It's just yeah. funny. Oh, when we have a lot of milk, we make cream of wheat for dinner. Now, cream of wheat sounds good. Yes. Yep. We like, oh, I love cream of wheat. Oh, yep. Yes. Does anybody ever have a problem washing their aprons or does anybody have a trick? So. Maybe you should tie it. Oh, tie, tie it in a knot? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, put it in a laundry bag. That's a good okay. idea. All yeah, right. All go. right. See, some of these things are world problems that we need to solve. Yes. And that's what and it's, we So do it's here. not as funny. Okay. So if you don't think I'm funny, just know I'm, I'm right there with you. I don't need a cape. I have an apron. Yes. Yes. Superheroes. We love that. How about this one? 20, or two hours of prep and cooking, totally worth it. Anybody feel like that? It's right, noodles fine. and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. I could, wish I could get away. Um, look, Tana made a mesh bag. So, From yes. From Chris's pattern last year. I really like oh. to cook, but I, I agree. I hate like when you make, has anybody ever made gumbo or macaroons? Or those things that take all day long. Uh -oh. Macaroons. Anybody out there ever made macaroons? No. Yes. I well, mean, it takes all day. And then mm -hmm. your husband comes in and loads up 16 on a plate and goes in and there's like two left because it's taken you all day. Yeah. So I don't know if I would do that. Oh, and then the two hours of cleanup. Right. At least right. 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 Yep. You don't know if you'd do that? Mm -mm. I don't know. It's really great. I used to think when I got a bigger kitchen that I would magically enjoy cooking. Yes. It didn't work. You don't enjoy cooking? You're an excellent cook. I know. I feel it. like I have to follow the recipe. I'm not very creative. Oh, it doesn't give you. Oh, well, but. I do like to cook. And this is my last <laughs> one. <laughs> when when you're cooking and the recipe is chill Tell in the fridge, fridge for one hour, that's what you need to do right now. Because you're so hot. I am hot. Man, <laughs> they opened cheeks, the door for my you. cheeks. What? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Chill in the fridge for one hour. Well, I'm used to being downstairs where it's it's freezing. cold. It's a freezer down there. Yes. So I have to say that I am had a girlfriend in college that was just like you. And I remember she was cooking and she comes up and she knocks on the door and she goes, do you guys have Helaman's mayonnaise? And we're like, no, we have <laughs> best foods. And she's like, oh, the recipe called for Helaman's. And she's Thank like, and you. I don't want to run to the store. Okay. Yeah. You can use mayonnaise. Yeah. Well, this is, this is something you'll, maybe some of you will laugh at this because I was at a friend's house when I was in a teenager mm -hmm. and we decided that we wanted to make pizza. And so I was at her house and I says, well, do you have a pizza mix? Um, and they all looked at me like, what? So they had never had a pizza mix. I always had pizza in a box. So I, oh, it yeah. would already be. <laughs> and so then, yeah, they made fun of me. I've never lived that down yet. So you can't make pizza without the pizza in the box. That's but funny. since then, I have learned how to make pizza dough on my own. Yeah, she's a good so, cook. So, yeah. All right, ladies, let's see what we have to say. Jackie's husband is an amazing baker. Yes, he is. Is he? He has been. In fact, his latest thing was um, apple pie. And he made a, oh, a killer apple pie. And I'm not a big apple pie fan, but it, this one was really good. Yep. Well, my husband, his he came from a restaurant family, and so he's a good cook, too. Mm -hmm. But he, I've been really busy the past couple of weeks. Yeah. And there's been lots of things going. So he's kind of had to make dinner. And so he's, he's great at making dinner. But this week I came and said, okay, what, what do you need help with? Cause he likes to cook together. 
but he yeah. does the meat and I do the sides. And yesterday he's like, oh, I'm so grateful to have you back. I'm like, oh, my head, throw in a can of beans and <laughs> a yeah. potato in the microwave. Yes. But I'm, apparently. Yeah, the Chef Boyardee um, pizza mix all the way. You bet. So, yep, that's what how I remembered. Ooh, Ooh, apple pie and ice cream. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yes. But Ija, where were you when I needed you in college to know that best foods and helaments are the same thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Miracle Whip. Yeah. I had to break my husband from the Miracle Whip habit too. Yeah. Yes. Miracle Whip does have a, a place though. It does have a place. And some recipes. Yes. And I have to say, I fluctuate right back and forth on a turkey sandwich with Miracle Whip and mayo. Yeah. My mom always used Miracle Whip in her potato salad. Oh, which just gave that little bit of zing. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, Christy's from a fan, from a restaurant family too. Yep, they made me wait tables and let Lee in the kitchen. Oh no. <laughs> uh, well, should we get started? Yeah, we're gonna get really hungry if we don't. Right. Let's get started. Okay. We've done thing number one. Let's do thing number two. Okay, so today we are going to make just a standard apron, but we have a new twist on it. And I found this and I was so excited because an apron is a great gift. Yes. And you always need them. You can celebrate every holiday with an apron. Yep. Um, I love to wear them when I'm like dressed or not dressed because I don't know, I'm a messy cooker. And <laughs> you're so not dressed. <laughs> I'm not going, what? No. Okay, there she goes again. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, oh. I don't need to come to your house. No, hey. I am always dressed, but maybe okay. I have my pajamas on or maybe I have my favorite t-shirt well, on. Well, you did so say I'm, undressed. I did say dressed oh, and un or undressed. Un undressed. Yeah. All right, where's the tape? Okay, no. Take over from here. Good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. Linda, we got to read this one. My daughter was making dinner at a friend's house. She asked where the potatoes were so she could peel them. And let's show this. Everybody needs to see this so that she could peel them and prepare them for mashed potatoes. She was told to get the box out of the pantry. Daughter was confused since she didn't even know instant potatoes were a thing. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I'm yes. glad I'm not the only one. I was really but... nervous when I first got married because my um, husband's mother is an excellent, excellent, excellent cook. Yeah, so is mine. And she also was a lunch lady. Yeah. Back Ooh. in the day when you handmade everything. Yes. But it turned out to be great because she doesn't know how to make her recipe for only one or two. So she always calls and says, I have six bot, um, pans of soup and three apple pies if you'd like to, like to stop by. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Okay. We're okay, going to get started. Go. All right. Okay. We're going to be on a tangent. So, yes. Okay. So what you need is you need some printer paper. Okay. Mm. And you also can make this yourself just by holding it up and finding out where you want your arm. Oops. But we've also done it for you awesome. if you want then to. you don't have to yes. worry about it. Okay. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this top piece. And like I said, just cut an armhole out. Okay, if wait. You, Let's pull up so you can yeah, see it. There just cut go. an armhole out if you don't want to. I mean, I'm sorry, the boss is watching. But if you don't want the pet, yeah. you can do this. We're kind of nervous since last week we were... We were uh, not, yeah. Yes. So she wanted to keep her yes. eye on us today. Yes. <laughs> See how we're doing. I think we're doing okay yeah. so far. Yeah. Okay. So what so. you want to do is I'm going to pull you down so you can see. We're going to lay this out. So you'll take this one where you've cut the armhole and literally we're just going to lay a piece of printer paper on that, tape it together. And then we're gonna, I like to do two because I like my aprons a little bit longer. You could do three, four, if you want them to the floor or you're really tall. The thing about this is this is so custom designable. If you mm. like your, your apron to go further back, then just move this fold line across the floor. So do you see how we have this whole apron pattern that's already cool. Man, that's done. so easy. Yes, isn't that easy? Yeah. Okay, so we're, you're gonna take a yard of fabric and lay it out right here. Okay. And you can do less 
I just do a yard just because it's pretty standard and easy to buy. And I don't, I mean, any type of fabric, but you're going to place this right here on the fold. Now, do you see when I say if you wanted to make a larger apron? Let me see here. If you want to make a larger apron, just move your fold back some. Oh, and, okay. and then you have a larger apron. Gotcha. Um, so you can customize this to anything you want to do. So you're going to take that on the fold. So question though, yes. technically, could you just do a half? Yeah. And just do, and so you'd get yeah. two, two aprons out of, oh, but you yeah. have to have, I guess you would. We have to have the length. Okay. Gotcha. So, so that's why I just say a yard. But like I said, if you're making these for kids or, you know, just whatever, but I just, like I said, I like a long, a long one. And so on this one, I'm going to actually just go straight to the, yeah, the fabric is really cute. Someone was wanting to know. It's a Tula. Yep. Um, by Free Spirit. It's called True Colors. If if you want to know that. Okay. So we're just gonna cut this. You can do it with scissors. There's never any good fabric scissors in the craft or in the warehouse. So yeah. I'm just gonna cut it along. Cutter looks a little bit a little. Okay, so we just cut around that. I'm they gonna get some can't, They probably can't see that here. Let's slide that down a little bit. There you go. Did I bring scissors over here? Right here, you had them right next to you. Okay, so sharpest scissors ever. <laughs> we need to get some new. Um, some new utensils. Yes. Cutting utensils. Okay. But really, we wanted to make sure because she's, we wanted to keep her finger out of the way. Yes. So that's why it's dull. And always close your rotary cutter. Whoops. You want me to do it from this on? Yeah. Here. If I'm you right can. Here. I can. Yep. Oh boy, aren't those the best scissors Whoa. ever? Okay, we okay. Need to... da -da -da. Oh, I know why you have to buy a yard. Okay, <laughs> I just remembered. Okay, okay, so we have our fabric and we have our pattern for our apron. Okay, and unfold it. Done. <gasps> Look how cute. Look how cute. Okay, we also want to then, what we're gonna do is see this top piece right here? We're gonna untape it. What is the ruler? <laughs> the ruler is a creative grids, a six by 24. And show them the top. And yeah, something happened to it. Can you see? We had a little, um... oh, it's gotta go this way. Ooh, we had a little mishap <laughs> with it. So, okay, so now with the second piece of fabric, I'm gonna fold it because I also wanna make an interfacing for the bib of my fabric because I like it a little bit. Oh, okay. And also, you'll see why. So place this on the fold and you can use the selvage. You don't have to cut this off at all. We're going to cut out just the interfacing bib. Should we try these yep. scissors? See yep. if they're, ooh, they're not any better. Oh dear. I'm bringing my tools from I home. I think we should bring our own. Yeah, we need to get some new ones. <laughs> okay, now you have your interfacing bib done. So you have your, can you go right here? Yep. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, it's a broken ruler. It's I thought a, I was missing a new ruler. No, yeah. it's just broken. <laughs> yes, the fabric is Tula. Yep. And um, what did I say? True colors. That's True what it colors. was. True colors. So it is cute. That is a really cute apron. Okay. So okay. we're just going to set those aside for a minute. Okay. Because the next thing we're going to do okay. is we are going to cut two with the fabric from an accent color, right? 
So we've got okay. our accent color. We're going to cut two three inch width with the fabrics and two four inch with the fabrics. Okay, so let's. So, so you've got, we'll take the four inch. I kind of saved that. So we'll put these away. This is from a contrast, right? Right. Okay. Now you can do this a number of ways and I'll tell you why I did it the way I did it. Um, because I hate to pull things through. It frustrates me to no end yes. to try to get it out and get the corners nice. So I'm going to show you the way that I did it. Okay. Okay. So Always what good. I'm going to do is I'm going to take wrong sides together and I am going to iron right down the middle. Okay. Okay. Just create a, I'll finger press so that you can see. Oh, but you can't see anything. Okay. So I'm going to iron right sides together. Okay, then I'm going to open that up. You then, said right, right sides together. Uh, sorry, wrong, wrong sides, sides together. together. Okay, so it's wrong <laughs> sides together. Here we go. It's okay. <laughs> we got it. Okay, then I'm going to take an iron to the middle. Can you guys see that? So that I Side iron. it down. Side it down a little so bit more. You can here. use a there bias tape measure. You could really do this right sides together and then pull through yeah. so that you just have one seam. But I like to put it this way, wrong sides together. And I did it with white thread so you can see. Then you're just going to fold it and just put a seam right down the side so that it will end up looking like this. Ooh, I love the stripes. The stripes yeah, are way cute. Fun. And one trick is iron this end right here so that you have a nice clean edge when you start. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's great. Okay. So we, what we did is we made two skinny ties for the neck. And I'm sure you probably could do these any size, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. If you if want you wide, wanted them wider and you can do them long. I like to tie my ribbon. Okay. Did you show a picture of what your apron looks like from top to bottom? because she can just see the bib band. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay. And I like to make mine really long because I like to tie it oh, like Oh, okay. But, I mean, not everybody does, so. Okay, that works. So, so we made our bands. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna set those aside. Okay, perfect. Okay, everybody good? Are we all here? Any questions? Any? Okay. Yeah, we are at the warehouse and we do need to, we could just go downstairs <laughs> and get some supplies. Right. <laughs> we, but it's, it's too late when we're right in the middle of this, right? Uh, yeah. We have to do Thanks, that Kathy. Thanks for pointing that yeah. out. I, I don't think anybody wants to watch me huff and puff. <laughs> okay. I included in the pattern, the pattern to make a cute rounded apron like this. I'm going to show them. Yeah. Here's the pattern right here. But today we're going to make a square one so that you can see both sides, okay? So what I did is I just decided how much I wanted, how big I wanted my square to be. Okay. If you're gonna use the pattern, you just trace the pattern. So I kind of wanted a deeper pocket today. So I'm gonna put this here, right sides together, and I'm gonna sew the band okay, on the top. See. So okay, I just so chose an again. accent fit, okay. picture. Okay. okay. Do that so again. I put this on the fold. This is on the fold. I just cut out a square the size I want mine to be. And I just found a third accent. But you can use the same pattern. See on this one, I use the accent on the top and the same. Oh, cute. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to take and I'm going to put right sides together. And I am going to sew along the top. Okay, ladies, your choice. Would you like to watch me sew? Yes. Okay. I will follow me. Here we go. We always like to go on field trips, right? What size what sizes do you cut the straps again? Um three inches. Three inches. Uh, for the neck straps. Four inches <laughs> for the um so die. die. That's the what tie. Ties yeah, the tie. Okay. But like I said, you can do those bigger, smaller. Okay. So I'm going to, I've got my right sides together. 
I should probably use a pin, but instead I'm going to fumble my fingers because I can't feel with this one. <laughs> and I'm going to just sew a little edge along the top. Check and rethread. The, it came well, unthreaded. Geez. Will you show me how to yes, this? I will. Okay, Jackie's going to rethread it because I'm scared of it. Okay, it's all good. We can do this quick and easy. You didn't see me pull the thread up that way, right? Right, no, I you never see do that. that. You should pull it from the bottom. Woo! How was that? That was perfect. Okay. Whew. Do you want to just sew along the top then okay. while you're up there? Yes. Ooh, this is a wobbly chair. So we're sewing just a quarter inch seam? Quarter inch seam right along the top. Okay. All righty. Here we go. I'm using the, my, the edge of my presser foot because on this machine I can... Um, I can move the needle position so that it's a quarter inch. Okay. Okay, nice. How did I do? You did perfect. Okay. okay. Any questions on that? Size of the pocket. Hold on. She's counting. 13 and a half is what I did. 13 and a half by seven. seven. 13 and a half by seven. Okay. Once. So, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to iron this this way. Okay, everybody good? And then I'm going to find a new center. But I really want to do it this way. A new center. So then I'm going to fold this up to this pocket lining. And if you ask me, apron patterns are all pretty much the same. It's the embellishments right. that make it right. the same. Okay, so then I'm going to find that new center. I'm just going to iron that. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stitch all the way around here except for about a couple of inches. Okay. To turn it inside you're out. turning it inside out. Yeah. Okay, perfect. On your last one, and then you just have, you're going to start about two inches. No, I left. Oh, the you two left the two inches. To start. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the table. And Ginger, how did that happen? I thought it was just me. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this inside out, right? So what I have is a perfectly nice lined pocket. This is where chopsticks come in handy. Or a pencil. Or yeah. a pen. Or your finger. Yeah. Just whatever you want to use. Okay. And you'll turn these, both these sides in, because we're just going to top stitch that right on the top. Got some pins. 
that is the cutest um, striped fabric. Yeah, that's also Tula. I just used all Tula today. Okay. All right, an R&K Turner. Does anyone hear the squeaky yeah. sound? That's love, the printer. Yeah. <laughs> I love R&K turning tools. I don't know what we're printing, but yep, that printer is us. We it sounds like we have a bird in the room. Yep. Yeah, we do. Sorry. Yes. Is that Sarah or Jamin? Because they're both laughing. It was Jamin. Okay. So do you see how we have that nice here? Okay, then we're gonna take now we're gonna take our apron piece and right sides together we're going to just take now I've had you cut two four inches so you can use a three inch or a four inch I like okay. the four inch on the bottom and the three inch on the top and this is my favorite way to measure lay it on top Cut it to fit, lay a three inch on top of there, on the top of here. Side it down a little bit because we can't see. Okay. So the top right here. Yep. Cut it with that. Okay, we're just gonna go put a quarter seam on the top and the bottom. And I need to do it, um, I need to do it because that's the next. Okay, are you ready? Are you gonna come? Okay, here we go. Here great, if you wanna wait, great too. Okay, we're just gonna right sides together on this top strip. So we have birds and now we have airplanes. It sounds like there's a an airplane. Going so fast, taking off. <laughs> and this one is on your bottom. Yes, Candace, this is Tula fabric. Yeah, it is really cute. So bright. And I understand about not cutting yours, but when you have a warehouse of it downstairs, then you kind of get to go crazy. <laughs> patterns be posted in the club yes and they are yes. free in the club too They're be free there okay we're gonna iron it fast and i'll meet you at the table I know I'm supposed to be pressing, but I'm trying to hurry. Okay, back to the table. Now, would you believe that we're almost done? That's really fast. Okay. Okay, so there's two things we need to do. The first one is we're gonna create our bottom pockets. So now that you have this here, you're going to... Oh, wait a sec, we can't see. Okay, you're gonna bring this up in this fold, and this is the little tricky part, because you're gonna sew this to the bottom. So you need to decide how deep a pocket you want these, See that? OK. 
Okay. Let me do it again. Okay. They said, can you see that? I, it's hard to. Okay. So we're going to take and decide. We're going to decide how deep we want our pockets. We're going to bring this up right here so that we create this fold. So that we create this fold. And oh, then okay. you'll just you'll turn, turn, that, turn this under, pin it, and stitch. Wow. Well, that was. So that's fancy. easy. And then you can put, like on this part, this one, I put two skinny pockets and a deep pocket in the side. So you just create a line right down here right down here or you could just have one deep pocket and you don't but you're just going to put this right underneath like this and pin it and then you're just going to do a top stitch okay does anybody yeah. have any questions? Okay. All right. Then the next one we're going to do is we need to turn it over. Okay. Everybody, can everybody see that? We're going to turn it over okay. and we're going to take our two, three inch squares and we're going to pin them right to the top leaving about oh, a half an okay. inch. These are our straps. These are our straps. Okay. Okay. So you'll pin these. I always like to pin it this way. Then make sure that you're even on the other side. So does it matter which, if, where your seam is? It doesn't to me. I'm not that picky, but if you want your seam in the middle, then it does matter. Oh, okay. You know, just as long as you yeah. do the same on both sides. Right. Okay. Okay. Once you've got there, then you're going to take your longer strips. Did everybody see that? Okay. All right. So you're going to pin those right to the top. Then you're going to take your longer strips. Are we doing kits? Yes. Okay. And so the fabric is the one that you're wearing? Yes. Is the kit? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then your longer strip. Can everybody see what I just did? You're going to pin that coming in here. Your paper clips. And then if pins. we had another one, we'd do it on the other side, right? Okay. Okay. Now this is where I, I like to pin all these together. So, so I keep them in the middle. Okay, good idea. So that they're laying flat. Just don't poke you. Okay, now lay your bib over. So you've got wrong side, then wrong side, right? Did we see that? I'm going to go sew this on. Okay. Because I want to see them turn out and see how nice oh, those yeah. straps look. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay, so she's sewing the what do you call that piece? Um the, the lining bib interfacing the liner the lining. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter what size um too short. That's all right, we'll don't do this at home. See, when we do things at three at three, we hurry really fast. And we don't have all the stuff out because we don't need. 
5,000. Okay, we're going to see how this works out. It's going to mess up our top a little bit. Yeah. But that's all right. I'll make it skinny. They'll get okay. the idea. trimmed all this oh look what I'm doing <laughs> okay we're gonna stop yes <laughs> I just sewed my what not to do bloopers okay so when we turn this oh look what we did we should have gone right sides together <laughs> What happens when you're in a hurry so when we turn this around what you'll have is you will have if you follow the instructions and do it right you'll have your top and then look how nice that strap is sewn right in there okay and then the last thing you want to do is that you will put your pocket where you want it then you're going to top turn under and top stitch and do a quarter inch all the way around all the way around yep Yay! Yay! All right. So cute. That is cute. I love it. Yes. And oh, really... I'm glad you can laugh at us. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all right. You get the idea, right? Yep. So. Yep. So, so you're going to top stitch there the pocket on, and then you have an apron just like this, which I'm going to take so off. So cute. All right. Let's go back to the table. And that apron is way too cute not to finish, so I will be unpicking. If anybody yes. wants to watch me, it'll be like the <laughs> Oprah Winfrey in free after the hour. There you go. You know, you can tune in and watch me unpick and swear yeah. a little, but you know. Okay, so we Ta -da. have our printer paper apron for you. So, oh, Heidi, that's a great idea. Um, if anybody's Wedding going gift. off to college, um, any of those things, then it yeah, that would seriously is gifts, so fun. Um, all kinds of different. Don't tell. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. So we've done thing number one. Yes. We've done thing number two. It's now time for thing number three. Yay. I've got to find the cute little three. Okay, so we have Another two thing. items on sale for you today. Um, Jackie's going to fan herself. This, this ruler really works well. So if you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably what happened is we whacked our chin with this side. Right? <laughs> okay, so on deal of the day today, we have for you um, regularly $4.99, $2.99, the printer paper apron, which if you watch 3 at 3, you may or you may not need. It comes with your little cutouts, or you can make those out yourself. Yeah. So that is on there. That's free for club members. They just have to go on to the club. I sent that over to Sherry, so I hope oh, she got that. Okay. If not, give her a little bit of time. Yes. And then we also have kits with the same fabric line that I made my first one out. And it's called Cluck Cluck Cockadoodle. 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 And it's so cute. And you, you may get a red lining. You may get a yellow lining. You may get a turquoise lining cute. kind of up to cute. the discretion cute, cute. of there but if you buy the kit the patterns include it okay that's so don't oh, buy it separate yeah, so if you're gonna buy, buy the, the kit, kit then oh. you get the pattern so you if you do kit. not buy the kit yeah you do need because that's so that darling the if you fabric. just want the pattern it's here 
or if you want to watch through it three several times, just use printer paper. Yes, it's awesome. Look at the cute little, um, look at the cute little chicken rooster. Yeah, I love look her. Cute. She's got that little kerchief that on. Is. And the cute flowers. Oh, and Sherry says patterns on the club, so there awesome. should be no Thanks, problem. Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. She cute rocks. Fabric. Way cute. She fabric. rocks. Yes. Okay. Was I behaved? I think you did really, really pretty good Would today. Everybody, please send Chris a personal message saying that she can keep me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I don't think there's any. Yeah. Huh, yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be good. Alisa, yes, the pattern is included in the kit. Yes. So don't buy them both. Well, you can if you want to give one away, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah, you can give it, it as a gift. Or if you want to cut up one and not, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yes. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Jane, I can only behave one time a week, so. And today was the day, right? Today was the day. Yes. Yeah. Get it out of the way. Oh, Kenzie gave us five stars. Oh, awesome. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, we only sewed a few things on backwards. It's and, okay. you know. Yeah. I think there's a. Thanks, Tana. I think that there's a contest to see how many bloopers you can get, and Chris gives you a prize. Chris gives you a prize. Um, <laughs> and so I'm trying to beat Kyle. Yeah, I said Kyle <laughs> would be. Up, Kyle will be up there. Oh, yeah. Sherry had to point out. Well, except for wearing your apron with or without clothes. That's so true. That was. <laughs> hey, I caught that one. That one was awesome. All right. <laughs> Well, and then you were going to take your clothes off and just wear the apron. So I think I'm not the only partner in crime. Okay. okay. <laughs> Ladies, so. we can't wait to see you next yeah. week. If we have some fun. fun things planned. How much is so. the kit? Do you know? Um, Do we know how much it is? 18, 1875, 1895. Please don't. Please don't uh, quote me. Oh, oh, it's true. It's time for the happy dance. Okay. Happy, 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 happy dog. Whatever the happy dog. We need to talk about our happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenzie reminded okay. us, everybody, um, yes. it, we are going to the kitchen. Yeah. So we did aprons this week, and we are going to the kitchen for comments sold tonight. Yes. So please, please, please tune in um, to comments sold because be really fun. Debbie has a great show planned. And yes. I cannot tell a lie. I offered to do comments so I can shop on comments. So oh, fun. So okay. when Chris introduces her behind the scenes, I'm just going to wave because I okay. got to get my I think, fingers ready. What's 1820? 1820. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. 1820. And yes, Heidi, just typing paper. I mean, if you wanted to make it really stiff, but I don't see any reason. No. And two of those pieces of typing paper are just going back in the printer yeah. when you're done with them. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Well, good. All right. Good. Well, we want to see all your beautiful pictures of all your yes, cute aprons. Yes. Yes. If you make if, if you, you make, make them, I want to see how fun they are. Yeah. And I can't wait to take mine home and make some cookies. So. Ooh, that sounds good. We've been talking a lot about food today. It yes. Makes me hungry. Yep. All right. Hey. Have a blessed day. All right. Bye, ladies. Bye.